Students, just now you have gone through the characteristics of the long form of periodic table, which is based on the modern periodic law, right? So we have come to know that in a modern periodic table or a long form of periodic table, we have got seven periods, right? And there are eighteen uh, vertical groups and there are seven horizontal rows, which are known as the period. Now we are going to see that how many elements can accommodate in a uh, in a particular period right so for that you have to just see here the table which I have formulated so the number of the elements in different period right so you will make the columns right how many columns are there five columns are there first is of the period second is of the n here n stands for the principal quantum number right and orbital third column will be the orbitals which are going to be filled up and these are the electrons which will be accommodated and this is the number of the elements right how many number of elements will be present now here n stands for the highest uh, principal quantum number for that period right so period one right so here what will be the uh, highest principal quantum number it will be first shell only n equals to one so here the orbitals which is going to be filled up will be only one s Right, and how many electrons can accommodate in S option? Yes, it will be two electrons. So, students, so in the first period, we are going to have only two elements. So, number of elements is going to be two. There is gradual filling of the elements in that gradual filling of electrons in the period. Right, so we have got two electrons. So, first is hydrogen, and then second is the helium. Now, second comes to period number two. Now, here the highest, the principal quantum number will be two. Right? You can see the relation that if it is a period number two, the maximum or the highest principal quantum number of it, that period will be two. Now, orbitals which fills up for the second shell, it is 2s and 2p. Right, 2s and 2p. So, how many electrons can accommodate maximum? It is s subshell 2, p subshell it is how much? 6. So, how much we are getting? We are getting 8. So, in the second period, we will have 8 elements in a second period. Similarly, when we come to the third period, highest principal quantum number is the 3. So, 3 we will have 3s and 3p right so it will be 2 plus 6 again will be 8 so number of elements in third period is again 8 now fourth period n equals to 4 now here students the orbitals which are going to be filled up is 4s this we are writing the energy level is 3d and then it is 4p right so s subshell will have two electron maximum d will have how much 10 p will have how much 6 right so how much we are getting we are getting 18 so it is number of element is coming 18 now we will do for the fifth period right here we have got 5s then we will have 4d and then 5p. So it will be again 2 plus 10 plus 6 that is coming 18. So again there will be 18 elements in the 6th period. Right? Now for the 6th period we are doing here. So it will be 6s then 4f then 5d and then 6p. So you just see S subshell, it will be having two electrons, F maximum of 14, then we have got 10, and then we have 6. So students, how much we are getting? 2 plus 4, 6, 6 plus 6, 12, so we are getting 32. So it is 32 elements maximum in the 6th period. In the same way, you can do for the 7th period also, it will be. 7s, then 5f, then it will be 60, then it will be 7p. 
right so we are getting s which is 2 f it is 14 10 plus 6 again it is 32 elements right so in the seventh period we will have maximum of 32 elements and students in the sixth period 32 elements are there but in the seventh period it is incomplete right so in this way you can just predict the number of the uh, elements in a given period hope so or you have got it and just try to understand it nicely and then get it noted down